the agenda of the uh, webinar of today is the following. We're going to uh, have a brief introduction about uh, Jatana and uh, who we are and what we do. Then we'll cover a few topics on uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, we're not going to cover the whole spectrum of uh, um, uh, different disciplines that uh, compose the field of artificial intelligence, but we're going to name a few things that are relevant for customer support leader, customer support teams, and uh, um, help them to understand how AI can be uh, helpful to automate processes in their contact center. Then uh, we're going to get a little bit more detail and see how these um, uh, approaches of uh, artificial intelligence uh, can create and unlock opportunities in general and why this is bringing about a, a whole revolution in this field and then look at what does that mean for uh, uh, support agents, support leader using uh, Zendesk as their um, customer support and engagement platform. And after that, we'll get a, a demo of Jatana. Today, it will be an overview. So I will uh, go through all the key features of the platform and the integration with the Zendesk support. And we will have some times available at the end of the webinar for some Q and A's. Um, a little bit of some notes on the side. If you have any question uh, along the way, uh, just drop the questions in the Q&A uh, box. My co-founder Francesco will collect all of the questions and then I will, uh, time allowing, uh, answer all of those at the end of the, uh, of the webinar. But um, let's dive uh, right in. The introduction is about Jatana. Jatana is a company that uh, was uh, started uh, uh, in 2016, actually as a spin-off of uh, another company that we co-founded uh, a few years before. Um, and Jotana has always been focusing on uh, artificial intelligence, developing on of uh, technologies for uh, natural language processing. And we'll get uh, a little bit more into details on this uh, in a few slides. We, our HQ is in Copenhagen, and we have just opened a new office in, uh, in Paris where we work together with Zendesk. Um, and also about this, uh, uh, I will get a little bit more into, into details in a few slides. From the beginning, we've been uh, uh, partners for uh, machine learning development and research with both uh, Google and uh, NVIDIA. And uh, that uh, implies that our solutions are built from the ground up and developed from the ground up from, uh, from our engineers, but both from our uh, on-premise and, uh, and cloud solution that we have strong partnership that we can bring uh, to the table for uh, assuring our customers that we can deliver um, successful implementations. Um, as I mentioned, we are a then a startup uh, program company, which means that we sit in Station F, the biggest innovation hub in the world, uh, in Paris, and we're working together with them to make sure that artificial intelligence is available to all companies and support team using at Zendesk. Um, we'll dive into the demo in the uh, details of the Jotana platform, but the core of our solution is uh, composed of two elements, a web uh, app uh, that you can access as a customer support admin or or agent where you can uh, train, create, manage uh, AI models that automate processes in your contact center. And uh, an integration app for then the support and other uh, customer support platforms that allows you to access the power of these AI engines that you've just created. And more on this in, uh, in um, a few slides. Uh, what is the mission of Jotana? We want to make artificial intelligence accessible to every support team in the world. And that is because we think that this technology will be um, commodified, it will become uh, accessible to uh, everyone, and there is a, um, and the difference between uh, uh, one company and the other would basically be how easy it is for their team to leverage this uh, technology to deliver better customer experiences. So from the start, we at Jotana had a very strong focus on, on one side, developing a hard tech in the field of deep learning and machine learning, as well as making this technology easy to use and understand for uh, people that have absolutely no coding background, data science background, and uh, they have no previous knowledge of, of artificial intelligence. 
and this reflects in the uh, uh, in our customers. We work, of course, with the enterprise uh, companies uh, and companies in the in the growth stage, uh, growing very fast. But uh, we have a very big base of SMBs as our customers that usually cannot afford the poor, uh, very expensive AI implementations. But thanks to Jatana, they can ripe the benefits of having custom built artificial intelligence models that they can use to automate processes in their contact center. Let's dive right into at this point at what is artificial intelligence and specifically what is important for uh, customer support uh, leaders and uh, customer support agents to know. We're not going to cover everything, just a few key topics and uh, if you follow Jatana on our social uh, uh, platform as well as on uh, our uh, uh, blog, you will find a lot of resources to uh, learn more about artificial intelligence in general. But for the purpose of this uh, webinar, we'll start by covering these three topics. We'll cover, we we'll define what is artificial intelligence, then we'll get into natural language processing, and then we'll uh, talk about intent detection. Uh, I apologize for those of you that are uh, uh, watching the webinar today that are already familiar with, this content, with these uh, topics. But um, if that's the case, uh, uh, refreshing your knowledge is always a good thing. When we talk about artificial intelligence, we talk, we talk about computer systems able to perform tasks that normally require human intelligence. Uh, the field is very broad. And it encompasses everything from image recognition used to uh, allow autopilot in uh, uh, Tesla uh, autonomous driving cars, as well as speech recognition that you probably have experienced yourself when you talk with your uh, um, Google Home Assistant or Alexa uh, smart speaker, machine translation. Uh, it's a, a feature that you have probably tried when uh, uh, translating using a Google Translate and uh, natural language processing, as well as uh, many others that unfortunately we don't have the time and the resources to, uh, to cover in this, uh, in this webinar today. But let's dive into natural language processing. Natural language processing is a subfield of artificial intelligence that is concerned with the interactions between computer and humans. And um, what natural language processing wants to do is to allow computers to understand what humans are saying in natural language. That includes uh, voice, meaning speech, and uh, uh, writing words, so email, chats, and any other form of uh, written uh, interaction. And uh, the goal is to uh, program computer algorithms and system to be able to process, analyze, and understand user intent from natural language. And this natural language can be, as I just mentioned, support tickets, emails, comments, um, anywhere where there is uh, uh, written text. But what is user intent? User intents are basically the questions that your customers are asking in. Uh, in the support ticket, be it a support ticket or uh, a request for support or a, a comment on, on Facebook, there is always <clears throat> a motivation and intention behind what the person is writing. Is always trying to achieve a goal. And that's usually what your agent are there to uh, understand and attend to. They understand what the customer is asking for and they perform action based on that. So the whole idea is that by detecting intents, from natural language in tickets or emails, um, Jotana allows you to automate processes that would normally require human understanding. And this is because Jotana allows you to create an AI engine that can detect the intents from written text, and you can do that automatically without the need for uh, human agents to be involved in the process. Now, that was an overview of uh, uh, artificial intelligence. I know that does not cover the whole, uh, um, the whole spectrum of uh, things that uh, uh, artificial intelligence encompasses, but I hope it gives a good introduction to what is relevant for the purpose of our webinar today. Now, these technologies in AI, in natural language processing, and intent detection are opening up a lot of opportunities for companies, not just in customer support, but in uh, customer experience and user en engagement in general. And now we're gonna cover a few of these uh, points. 
Once again, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the Q&A box uh, uh, here in the Zoom uh, chat, and we will cover them all together at the end. What is the opportunity here? So it's a massive shift from uh, interfaces uh, um, that were primarily graphical um, or mobile to a whole new level of interaction, which can be enabled because of AI uh, understanding language as it is and not requiring another kind of, uh, of uh, user interface, be it graphical or, or keyboard. Nowadays, you can just talk and expect a computer to understand your voice as well as what you're asking for. And this is what we are talking about today. Um, what does it mean? It means that uh, you already see AI uh, in many places in your daily life, but AI will literally be everywhere. It will be um, in 85% of uh, customer engagement software, as well as uh, in, um, in a short time frame, uh, cover and power, 80% uh, of businesses uh, um, where AI would be part of at least a, a few steps of the interaction between the business and, uh, and its customer. And uh, why is that? That is uh, primarily because uh, AI can unlock a, a tremendous gain in labor productivity and productivity across uh, multiple operations, not just customer support. This, in the context, of customer support um, allows you to do two things. It allows you to, of course, create productivity in your operation, but at the same time, it allows you to free resources that you can then allocate to do other things. If the AI is able to understand customer intents and now uh, all these repetitive uh, uh, processes and one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, simple uh, tasks like uh, data entry, uh, ticket categorization, and uh, the many more that we will cover later, um, can be taken care completely by the automated uh, AI system, then you can use uh, agents to create even more engaging and fulfilling experiences for your customers. And that is uh, what is uh, what this slide is all about. The fact that companies are uh, realizing that customer experience and uh, customer and the customer support is not just a uh, cost center, but it can be a source of uh, uh, opportunities. It can be an advantage. And uh, this is uh, um, and will be enabled by uh, AI technology that automates um, boring and repetitive processes that frees up time for agents to focus on uh, the relationship that matters. And from those relationships, you will be able to unlock more value for your company and for your customers. Now let's talk about the opportunities specifically for uh, you, for uh, the admins and the agents and the people that on a daily basis are uh, interacting with customers, delivering great customer experiences and making sure that uh, CISA scores are high and that the uh, level of support that your companies provide is uh, top notch. Well, what this means is basically that you will be able to uh, tackle these four problems uh, all at once. And in a second, I'm gonna tell you what it means. On average, um, in the US, of course, depending on the places in the world where your company is based, for example, we are in Scandinavia and the cost is a lot higher, but on average, we can say that a one-click resolution ticket costs on average $4. And this is uh, uh, for a one-click resolution, and as you know, most likely, a lot of your tickets will require more than one click to be solved. At the same time, um, to process those tickets, you need uh, to train uh, uh, agents. And these agents are put under a lot of pressure in, uh, in, um, in the support center. And uh, in fact, customer support is one of those industries where there is the highest turnover of uh, uh, employees on a yearly basis. While at the same time, although the customer support uh, FTE salary is not the highest uh, in, uh, in the company, still, in Europe and in the US, one, one FTE is usually around the starting point of $30,000. And all this to process uh, requests that in the majority of the cases are repetitive and don't really add value to your operation. So what if you could take this 80% of requests of tickets of uh, issues that you receive on a daily basis, have an automated system taking care of those, 
and redirect your uh, support agents to those 20% of requests and tickets that really are important and create value for your business. Well, that, this is what Jotan is all about. And uh, how do we do this? We do this by enabling your team to do uh, a few things. And the first thing is uh, uh, we allow you to uh, send uh, automatic replies. What we mean by automatic replies is that Jotana can take uh, over all these requests where uh, basically it's a first uh, reply resolution. So where one reply is enough to, uh, to solve the ticket. Things about, uh, for example, password resets or uh, opening hours of your store or anything that relates to uh, something easy that can be solved with one single reply and then now is replied by your agents can be automated through uh, Jotana. Then we also allow your team to receive uh, additional uh, information and relevant suggestions on those tickets that are not um, processed by or cannot be processed by uh, using automatic answers because of the nature of the request, <coughs> the complexity of other factors. So as I will show you in a minute, then uh, uh, you will be able to see uh, relevant suggestions that are specific for the ticket and the content of the ticket uh, being displayed within the contact center UI right in front of the agent where they need it. But it's, um, it's not just uh, automation and suggestion of, of replies. Um, Josana can also uh, populate uh, automatically all the relevant ticket data coming from uh, the ticket itself, coming from business rules that you have set up in your uh, Zendesk account, or from uh, your own database and CRM. Um, just to make a clear and easy example, uh, you may have a customer that is writing about a specific order but all the order information is stored into your CRM and maybe perhaps your Shopify account and, uh, and your shipment uh, management system. Well, Jotana can connect to all three systems and can pull relevant ticket information uh, into Zendesk and populate that in real time as soon as the agent opens the ticket so that all the relevant information is there when the agent needs to uh, process the ticket. Same applies to routing. Uh, one if not the most common use case for Jotana nowadays is uh, ticket routing. It is easy to set up and it is uh, a no brainer for companies to switch from having one or two people sitting there all day, sorting through tickets and sending them to the right queue to having an automated system that can understand user intent and categorize and route ticket automatically based on natural language processing and therefore what the customer is really asking about. And when you combine these four things that I just described, uh, then you can also do end-to-end uh, -end ticket resolutions, meaning that when you combine automatic replies with being able to uh, uh, pull in uh, relevant data from uh, your own system as well as external systems and use this information to automate not just a simple reply but a multi-step ticket journey then you're able to uh, automate uh, uh, not just uh, one step but the whole ticket and so a big chunk of tickets that you receive that are not one reply resolution and therefore still require agent intervention to be solved, will be uh, solved through an uh, end-to-end automated resolution by Jatana that understands uh, the customer intent, retrieves the relevant information from your uh, systems, combines it all together into uh, a meaningful reply, and sends it over to the customer. Once the customer replies again, then uh, either the ticket is solved, or if it's not solved, Jatana will understand the context of the reply and take the necessary action uh, moving forward. This is more or less uh, how, it, uh, uh, how it looks and how it can be uh, represented. And it is all uh, powered by um, a framework and a technology that we call intelligence process automation, which combines uh, uh, AI engines with uh, integration to through um, uh, third-party services as well as uh, business uh, 
logic and processes. So combining these three, you can create uh, automated AI powered systems that can take a ticket as soon as it comes in and move it over the journey that you define until the ticket is sold. And uh, now I will show you um, an overview of our uh, dashboard and what you have access to when, uh, when you uh, um, implement Jotana in, uh, in your contact center. While I set up the demo, again, feel free to uh, set up to uh, add questions in the, uh, in the Q&A field, and uh, I will uh, answer all of them at the end. I will stop the sharing for a second as I set up the demo. And we're back. So this is the web interface of uh, Jotana. This is our demo account, Demotana, and I will uh, briefly go through all the different uh, models and steps and things that you can do when you integrate your Zendesk account with uh, Jotana. Also, I will show you how the uh, um, interface looks when agents are receiving suggestions directly inside uh, the Zendesk environment. But let's get started from the dashboard. So when you first create an account, you automatically connect your Zendesk support account and we pull in relevant uh, uh, data that is then used to create uh, uh, and enable you and your team to create the AI models that you will then use to automate uh, different things inside the Zendesk support. As we do so, we also import uh, information about your macros and your triggers. This is not necessarily related to uh, AI automations, but uh, through the macro and trigger library, then you have a tool, especially when you have a lot of triggers and macros, that helps you manage your libraries. And what I mean by that is that you can filter uh, and search macros based on the actions that they perform, not just by name, and you can also uh, navigate the uh, macro system using uh, uh, folders instead of uh, just the uh, normal uh, uh, full name uh, macros. You can also edit any of the fields in the macro, including access, descriptions, and so on, and all, your, and all the changes are applied automatically. When you start to have a lot of macros in your library, then uh, you can uh, uh, use tags to categorize them. And the tags that you use to categorize macros reflect across the whole system. So you will be able to then use them to create ticket journeys and automations without getting lost and confused about what the different macros are doing for you. Triggers is about the same concept. is your trigger library, and we have created simple and easy to use tools to manage your triggers. Um, but let's get into the interesting part so to speak of the uh, of the platform and uh, this is the uh, the intense section so if you recall from the beginning of my presentation i was giving you what i uh, was explaining what is uh, uh, artificial intelligence then getting into the idea of natural language processing and then i mentioned intent detection so to be able to create an ai that understand customer intents uh, you need to have uh, a tool and then this is the tool that we've created for you specifically for that. It's a tool that surfaces data directly from your Zendesk account and pre-process it for you so that you can create uh, intents in no time, as well as giving you full control of all the data that you have in your Zendesk account and be able to use that to create custom intent. I'm going to show you how it works. 
we do two things. We have the so-called macro intents, which are intents that Jotana automatically creates as soon as you get started with the, with the, with the system. And these intents are based on the macros that your agents are using to reply to tickets. A macro intent contains ticket information and specifically it contains the specific message that your uh, customers have sent you. And these messages combined will be used to train an AI engine that can recognize uh, specific uh, customer intents based on historical requests. But these requests are not generic. They're not trained on data that is taken from outside your organization. They are trained specifically on your data, data coming from your Zendesk account. And uh, with the uh, uh, lingo and with the uh, uh, formatting and with the uh, nuances that comes from uh, your specific customer's language. So these are macro intents and they're built out of the box as soon as you create an account. Also, we give you the option to create custom intents and a custom intent is an intent that you can create from, uh, from scratch basically out of uh, all the tickets that are available into your Zendesk account. For example, you want to create an intent to cover a specific element of your support center, which before you haven't uh, processed using macros. Well, you can create a new intent like I've just did, and you will be shown the complete list of tickets that are in uh, your Zendesk account. Open, close, you will see them all. At this point, you can either add them one by one to the intent, or Normally, if you have a lot of tickets and not just 52, like our demo account, you can use uh, uh, conditions and filter the tickets based on any of the condition that is supported in the uh, intent. For example, using your business rules based on tags and based on custom fields. And by doing so, then you can create a very detailed uh, representations of what your customers are asking for. Once you've done that, uh, you will have a complete uh, intent library for you to use to train AI models to recognize all the different uh, support requests that you receive from your customers. Once again, we create macro intents out of the box for you as soon as you create an account and give you the option to create custom intent manually. On top of this is on the way additional features that allow you to create, a, a custom, to create intent out of the box uh, using other elements as a reference, as well as creating intents using data that does not come specifically from the support. Uh, and I will show you how to do that. But once you have created uh, all your intents, or once uh, Jotana has already created all the <laughs> intents that are needed for you, then what you need to do to uh, be able to automate uh, things and processes in Zendesk is to train an AI model. This is uh, easily done in the AI model screen by creating a, a new model. And here you can choose uh, different uh, models. Uh, if, for example, you want to uh, uh, get suggestions inside Zendesk, you will create a macro suggestion model. If you want to automate different aspects of your uh, contact center, you would use an intent detection model, as uh, I mentioned before. And soon we will release entity extractions model as well, which allow the AI to recognize, uh, for example, the name of your product or your services from within the contact, content of the ticket itself. But let's say that you have created a uh, intent detection model. You simply have to add the intent that you want the AI to recognize, and then you can click start training. Once you do that, uh, I'm not gonna do it because this is a test account, but basically it's gonna trigger the training and uh, depending on how many tickets and how many uh, intents you have selected, in a matter of maximum a few hours, you will have an AI engine that is able to recognize the intents that you have created. You can check the um, status of uh, the training and of your current models in the train model uh, tab. Here you see that both our model, the suggestion and the intent detection model are both active and they're both, uh, uh, and the training has both succeeded. Uh, you can also create multiple versions of each of the model to, for example, increase accuracy if you decide to add additional information about messages into the specific intent. And that's basically it. So combining your Zendesk data 
into intents and combining intents into uh, AI models. You can create algorithms uh, and artificial intelligence models that understand what your customer are asking in, uh, in your emails. It's as simple as that. At this point, you can, um, you can start using it and you can do it in two ways. Uh, first, you can go into uh, Zendesk, and if you have installed uh, the Zendesk app, you will uh, start receiving macro suggestions. Uh, macro suggestions are nothing more than Jatana suggesting the relevant macro to use for each specific uh, uh, ticket. So, for example, in this case, Jatana is suggesting these five macro as the most relevant macros to be used to reply to this ticket. You can preview the macro before applying it. And um, as you do so, then be sure that you're not applying a macro that is not relevant. And by, when you apply the macro, then uh, all the relevant uh, information is uh, populated together with the macro itself. Um, another thing that you may be asking is what does it mean automation on? And this is a, a switch that is only visible to uh, um, Zendesk admins that, for example, uh, wants to automate uh, uh, a specific macro directly from the Zendesk app and they have direct control from uh, uh, the app itself to be able to do so. This control is not shown to uh, Zendesk agents, so you can keep your uh, policy and control uh, as you want. This is for the suggestions. Uh, and. Um, when I mentioned that we can connect with your backend systems as well as uh, uh, order management and CRM, I mean that uh, once you've created an a engine that can suggest the right uh, reply, we can connect uh, Jatana and therefore the Zendesk app to your database or any other system so that when in the moment that you apply the macro, the relevant information in the form of floating fields as well as ticket fields is populated directly live from your uh, systems, as well as uh, implementing an automation that does that as soon as the ticket comes in, depending on what is the use case for you. This is what relates to the suggestion app. This is 50% of what you can do with Jotana. The other 50% is uh, in the uh, automation screen. And the automation screen, once you have trained an AI model, shows you all the automations that you can enable. And basically, there are two kinds of automation. There are the one-off automations, so the single reply, so to speak, that you can enable here just by turning on uh, automation as active and setting a confident threshold. Uh, and then we have custom automations, which uh, allow you to uh, not just decide if a macro should be applied or not, and uh, if uh, a single reply should be sent out or not, but I'll also allow you to select which action is uh, performed when that intent is detected. The action can be we apply a macro for you, but it can also be that we look into one of your order management systems, CRMs, to uh, retrieve specific pieces of information and populate those into the uh, into the reply and that's uh, basically it for automations so by combining intents you can train an AI model to recognize what your customers are asking you and uh, once you do that you can either receive suggestion into Zendesk on what is the right uh, or best suited uh, macro to use to reply or you can fully automate the process of replying or applying that macro with all the actions that comes along uh, without any agent intervention. Once you take these automations and you combine them into uh, a journey, a multiple uh, step journey, then you're not only able to automate a single reply, but you're able to automate the whole ticket journey, the whole workflow from beginning to end. And uh, you can measure this in the analytics uh, tab of the platform, where we show you uh, what is your initially average response time and what is the improvement over time that Jatana generates for you and your team, as well as uh, the number of replies that are processed in total, manually 
through your by your agents without the use of Jotana, as well as uh, using uh, suggestions or automation, so that you can have a, a full detailed breakdown of how your team is using Jotana and what is the benefits that Jotana is bringing to the table, as well as having a detailed breakdown of all this information based on uh, macros, agents, and uh, groups. We can also provide additional analytics in terms of language distribution, sentiment analysis, and a few other algorithms. But those depends on the languages that are used by your customer to ask for support and therefore vary from client to client. And um, this is basically the uh, very quick overview of the uh, Jotana platform. We also allow you to integrate it with uh, Slack for those of you that use uh, Slack and receive alerts and integration directly there. Um, and we have uh, uh, full control on how the uh, app looks in uh, Zendesk so that you can customize the look and feel as well as creating a, a specific user so that all the automation that are performed by Jotana don't show as being performed by one of your existing agent, but show as being performed by uh, a Jotana independent AI agent uh, in uh, your contact center. And um, that's basically it for the demo. I'm gonna switch back to uh, the deck. And uh, with that, I'm gonna open uh, up for uh, Q&As and uh, questions if uh, any of you have, uh, have um, yeah, note it down questions along the along the way. All right, I mean, I see one question that was already answered by, by Francesco. Uh, someone is asking what is the difference between uh, uh, Jotana and Answerbot. Uh, I can elaborate on that. Uh, the core uh, technology behind the Jotana and Answerbot is very similar in the sense that the AI understand what the customer is uh, asking uh, and what is their intent. But whereas uh, uh, Answerbot uh, replies with uh, suggestions on what is the most relevant ticket, sorry, uh, knowledge base article to, um, to read in order to solve the issue, Jotana uh, replies as if it was a real agent and therefore uh, guides the user throughout the process. So we are not a ticket deflection tool. We are a ticket processing tool. Uh, the goal of Answerbot is to uh, increase uh, self-service, but primarily ticket deflection. The goal of Jotan is to increase self-service, but through um, a tool that guides uh, the uh, customer uh, to the actual answer to his questions and not to uh, uh, a uh, article that may be relevant or not. Then we got another uh, question about the uh, sorting of the tickets on uh, how that would work. Uh, and I can switch back to, uh, and I can switch back to the, to the demo uh, session on, uh, on the dashboard to show how easy it is to uh, set up uh, 
ticket sorting uh, with the Jatana. If you uh, if you can now see my screen again uh, to set up ticket sorting, you would have to go to uh, intents and then uh, create a custom intent. Or eventually, if you have been using macros to sort tickets before, we would have already created uh, all the relevant intents for you. Uh, otherwise, a custom intent, creating a custom intent, and then using uh, filters to, uh, for example, filter by a tag or a custom field or a channel or a kind of requester or a group so that you can collect all the tickets that uh, belongs to uh, a specific uh, queue. And then you train an AI to recognize those, uh, those intents. From that point onward, as soon as the uh, AI engine is ready, you turn on automations from here, from the automation dashboard. And every time that the, uh, a new ticket uh, uh, will be created in the desk, matching the understanding that the AI has of the, of the categorization that you want to put in place, that ticket will be uh, will be uh, categorized uh, uh, and routed uh, accordingly. So it's uh, it's very easy. It is a lot more about uh, thinking what kind of tickets and what kind of processes do I want to uh, automate, and do I want to put on uh, on a setup that I can just turn on and forget about, and what are those tickets and processes that I do want to spend my time because they really create value for me and uh, and my team. And um, this is usually the first step that we always uh, advise company to uh, to take is a is a is a review is a thinking step where uh, we take uh, and we guide them through the process as well of looking at all their tickets and uh, understanding uh, how many of these tickets are actually uh, relevant uh, in creating additional value for the company and how many of those are just uh, uh, business as usual things that needs to be done but don't really add any value and for those we look at those that are most frequent and most repetitive and we start from those either by defining intents for routing or for uh, suggestions and uh, and automated replies and setting up the automations for those so usually after not more than a couple of weeks the results are already uh, clear in, and visible in the, uh, in the analytics dashboard, and uh, the time is ripe to then move on into more uh, complicated uh, automation and perhaps integrating with uh, backend systems to uh, also be able to automate those parts of the process that require uh, connection and lookups, for example, in, uh, in external databases. Let's see if we have uh, any other uh, question. Okay, there is a question on uh, uh, the connection with third-party systems and how Jatana can automate lookups and processes uh, uh, that requires uh, uh, these kinds of uh, connections. Uh, I'm going to switch back to the to the deck for a second and go back to this slide, uh, which is about intelligent process automation. So there are three components uh, that allow us to uh, to do um, this integration plus automation plus uh, uh, conditional logic. And uh, it's very easy to understand if we follow the, the ticket journey. So a customer is, in this case, for example, is asking about uh, the status of a shipment. This is a clear example for any e-commerce uh, business or any business that manages customer support uh, uh, requests related to uh, e-commerce uh, shipment and the like. The majority of tickets requests in this uh, uh, sector are about uh, order, order status, uh, shipment and refunds. But let's take the case of a shipment. Now, when the ticket comes in and uh, the customer is asking about an update on their order, or perhaps they had issues with their shipment, then what happens is that the ticket is parsed by the 
AI engine that was created before using uh, the, the information from, from Zendesk. And uh, what the AI does is uh, what is shown in this uh, uh, blue uh, square. It extracts uh, the information about the, the customer and it extracts uh, the fact that the customer is asking about uh, uh, or the status of a shipment. On top of that, is also able to extract the order number. So armed with the order number, the email information, uh, the email ID and the name that is uh, already populated in the, in the ticket, and the intent, which is to retrieve information about the order, then uh, uh, Jotana connects to, uh, let's just make an example, either Magento or Shopify, for um, naming two of the most common uh, uh, platforms, but uh, of course we have integration with a lot more than those, and uh, use the information that was retrieved from the ticket to make a lookup. Now, normally this is a process that is done by agents manually, meaning that uh, the agent would have on one screen the Zendesk interface, and if they have two screens, they would have Shopify in the other one, and would, otherwise they would have to switch tabs. And this uh, information uh, process search requires the agent to copy paste information into Shopify or into the order management, retrieve the order, look through, understand what information needs to be uh, uh, copied, take the relevant information, go back to Zendesk, populate an email, and then reply to the customer. And basically, this is only because the agent is able to understand the context of the initial request. Now that you have an, a system that can do that for uh, by understanding uh, the intent of the customer, lookups in external system based on order number and uh, email ID are as, sim as simple as uh, uh, a simple RESTful API request. And therefore, uh, uh, we can retrieve that information via API, combine that information into an email reply, and then send that email and update the ticket accordingly um, for both uh, maximizing the reply time as well as uh, uh, making sure that all the relevant information is populated and therefore making it easier for admins to, uh, to do uh, reporting and analytics uh, at the end of the month or the quarter. So this in a nutshell is uh, what end-to-end uh, -end ticket resolution and intelligence process automation allow you to do. And um, we have uh, here just a, a few examples of the systems that we can integrate into. Um, but of course, we, we can also do integrations with uh, um, um, uh, custom built databases as well as CRMs, provided that there is uh, some kind of XML or RESTful API uh, connection with an OHOT that can be provided uh, uh, to us. And um, that's all that is, uh, that is needed. So uh, that was to cover and dive a little bit more deep into detail about the end-to-end -end resolution and, uh, and the intelligent process uh, automation. Uh, let's see if we have uh, time for one last uh, uh, question. Um, yeah, yeah. So the um, uh, Francesco is telling me that there is uh, uh, people are asking about how to uh, um, how to set it up and uh, how complex it is, and uh, without going too much into uh, the technicalities of it, we have uh, a uh, basically off-the-shelf pre-built uh, web uh, interface, the one that I showed, that I demoed to you uh, before, which is uh, uh, turnkey. So you can connect that with your Zendesk account, and uh, to do that, you only need to provide the Zendesk account subdomain and everything is synced automatically. From that point onwards, you are free to create uh, intents, macro intents already created, the AI engines can be trained independently, as well as uh, the automations uh, uh, can be turned on and off. So you have basically a whole solution 
that you can manage directly uh, yourself. Um, we do have a uh, onboarding process in which we go through the tickets and the um, cases that are most suited for uh, um, to get started, what we call the low hanging fruits. So there is no reason to start with the most complex ticket when the majority of the volume is actually uh, tickets that can be that can be processed uh, uh, from day one. And a typical implementation of Jotana takes about a month, where the first two weeks are spent uh, uh, in uh, close collaboration between our team of uh, customer support experts and data scientists and uh, the customer support leaders at your end, defining what processes need to be uh, automated, what, process, what tickets uh, are uh, for which tickets do you want to receive uh, uh, suggestions? And then we move into a, usually is about two to four weeks implementation. It can be a bit longer if uh, there are integration required with the uh, uh, proprietary systems that we have never integrated in before. But otherwise we're pretty standards on something around between two and, uh, two and four weeks. And from that point onwards, then we have a one uh, month in which uh, we it's kind of like trying out and warm up uh, the system where you can see and you can uh, uh, manage the uh, automations and see how well the AI engine is uh, performing and predicting for all the different cases that you want it to automate. And from that point onwards, uh, basically it, run, it runs by by itself and you can just go in and check on uh, on the dashboard on, on the performance and we um, offer you a uh, customer support team that uh, together with you at regular intervals uh, reviews uh, the processes that you're automating and helps you to, um, well, see if there's anything that can be changed or improved to uh, achieve an higher uh, level of efficiency in your contact center. But um, we have uh, a lot of material and we can uh, we'll be happy to get uh, to go more into into details uh, with in relation to uh, um, to the implementation if uh, is uh, required uh, you can uh, simply contact me or uh, or francesco and i will uh, show you the our my contacts um, Again, by showing the screen, which I lost for a second. So you can contact me uh, at Giovanni Giotano.ai or Francesco, for, uh, which is my co-founder at uh, Francesco at Giotano.ai. And uh, we will be happy to uh, have uh, a look at what is your uh, current uh, uh, contact center setup see what are the cases which are easiest to uh, automate and uh, have an uh, uh, assessment of what could be the potential to bring AI and automation into, uh, into your, uh, to support and help your, uh, your team uh, deliver better customer experiences to, uh, to your customers. Um, I think that with that, we are uh, uh, out of uh, time and uh, we will send you uh, the link after the webinar if you want to uh, watch it again and um, please stay tuned because we will run we will run we will run this uh, webinar every two weeks uh, and from next time we'll dive a lot more into details on uh, the different use cases so how can i set up uh, suggestions uh, to be uh, extremely relevant for my agents or how do i route tickets when I have complex uh, uh, setups uh, to uh, take into account. So stay tuned. Thanks a lot for your time and uh, looking forward to uh, hear uh, all your questions and work with uh, uh, all of you. Thanks for uh, your time.